And good afternoon, everyone. It's time for Stratomatic Baseball. And greetings to Kenyon Gray. How are you doing today? <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> wow. I just realized that's the first time I've spoken all day. And there's Ben and Jack. Welcome, guys. And it is a cold and windy Long Island spring has not arrived. Yeah, we haven't really got there either. 49 gusty winds. A little overcast, but I'm not going to complain about 49 compared to what we did have. Anyway, we've got a ball game. We're moving on to May 5th on the schedule, the third of a three-game set between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Atlanta Braves. Larry Jackson will take the mound for the Phillies. He's a right-hander. Tony Cloninger, also a righty, takes the mound for Atlanta. Good pitching matchup, as Ben pointed out. Both pretty good cards. Let's see how they fared in the replay so far. Jackson, of course, came over in that big Jenkins trade. He's made only one start. It was a complete... No, it was not a complete game. One start, 2.7 ERA. He pitched 10 innings. Allowed seven hits, struck out four. You know, I forgot about that. Wasn't that that really long game? Extra inning game? So Jackson pitched very well. 10 innings for a no decision. Cloninger, one and four in five starts. He's made one relief appearance, 4.32 ERA, 33 and a third innings, 35 hits, 24 strikeouts. And welcome Franklin Long. Long made it to Atlanta. How about that? <laughs> oh, man. I'm <clears throat> trying to, try to gain my, regain my voice. The Phillies come into this game at 9 and 7, Atlanta 9 and 12. <clears throat> Excuse me. Get some water. <clears throat> oh, wow. Okay. Um, let's see. That's a bit better. Okay. Let's get you the lineup so we'll get this one underway. For the Phillies, Johnny Briggs will bat lead off in center field. Dick Grode hits in the two spot. Bill White will bat third. Johnny Callison in the cleanup spot. Tony Gonzalez hits fifth. Cookie Rojas bats sixth. Tony Taylor at third base for the injured Dick Allen hits seventh. Dalrymple, the catcher, eighth. And Jackson, the pitcher, ninth. Exactly the same lineup as in the previous game. We'll set the Braves for you defensively. Joe Torrey will be catching Cloninger, the infield. Thomas at first. Woodward and Menke up the middle. And Eddie Matthews at third with the outfield left to right of Rico Cardi, Felipe Alou, and, of course, the great Henry Aaron. At least you have the skills, Ben. You're welcome to drop by any time. <laughs> yeah, I could use that. Hopefully not today. And there's Kevin. Hello, Kevin. Hope your day is going well. The umpire says play ball. Cloninger's ready to go. John Briggs steps in. Left-handed hitter. Coming into this game, he is batting a whopping 424. That's 14 for 33. He's played in 11 of Philly's 16 games to this point. Four home runs. Tied for the league. No, he's not. Allen has five. Excuse me. Four home runs, second on the club. Tied with White. And seven runs batted in. So Cloninger getting the sign from Torrey now. Here's the windup and the pitch to Briggs. That's going to be a 6-6 six, six left-handed. That'll be a base hit into right field. Double on a one on a four. Briggs will settle for a long single rounds and holds at first. Briggs a pretty solid base runner, but not a threat to steal. And that'll bring up Dick Grote, the right-handed hitting shortstop. 
Grote comes into the game batting just 172. One home run, seven RBIs. Cloninger now working from the stretch. Pitch to Grote. It's going to be a 1 8 right hander to tap her down to third. Matthews has it to Woodward to Thomas. Double play. So 5 4 3 double play erases the runner. Two down, nobody on. And here comes Bill White. Bill White, among other things, among the National League RBI leaders. With 19, he's hitting 267, four home runs, 19 RBIs. I think that makes him second in the league in RBIs. Let's take a look real quick. RBIs. He is fourth now. Wow, he's been passed by Wynn, John, Lou Johnson, and Willie Mays. Still 19 RBIs in 16 games. Very awesome. And here's the pitch to White. That's going to be a 210 right handed high fly ball to deep right field. Aaron backing up to the track to the wall. It's gone. Home run, Bill White. Oh my. Yes, he was, Kevin. Absolutely. Let's see here. For White, that's his fifth home run, 20 RBI. Let's take another look at that roll. It's a 210. Homer to 14, the roll is a three. And how big is that double play now? Instead of a two run home run, it's a solo shot. And the Phillies are on top, one to nothing. And here's Johnny Callison now. Callison comes in at 347. Three home runs, eight RBIs. These are both really good hitting ball clubs, but then you already know that. The Phillies as a team betting 274 with 22 home runs. The Braves 264 with 23 home runs. The Braves have translated those numbers into more runs scored, however. They've scored 102 runs to the Phillies 81. Of course, they've also played 21 games to the Phillies 16. So I suppose it's pretty close. Callison ready to work now. Cloninger the pitch to Callison, I should say. 6-5. It's a high blast to right field way back. Aaron just turns around and watches it go. Oh, my goodness. And the Phillies go back to back in the first inning. Oh, ho, a home run by Johnny Callison. That's his fourth home run of the season. And that will bring up Tony Gonzalez. So back-to-back -back homers, 6-5. He has the power. It's clean. Oh, yeah. Way back into the seats. And here's Tony Gonzalez. Gonzalez hitting 350. That's just 7 for 20. He's only been in seven ball games. He has a home run and three RBIs. Cloninger gets a new ball. Gets the sign from Torrey. Here's the windup and the pitch. That's going to be a 4-4 left-handed grounder to third base X. That'll be Matthews, a 4-E-27. Matthews to his left. Here's the roll on the play on an 8, the E rating. The roll is an 8 on a 27, and Matthews boots it. Oh, my goodness. Error, Eddie Matthews. E-5, Gonzalez aboard. And here's Cookie Rojas, the second baseman. Right-handed batter hitting just 186. No homers, two RBIs. Cloninger would like to get back into the dugout here. He gets the side and from the stretch. The pitch to Cookie is a 4-7. Single to four, but on a 12, that liner is speared by Eddie Matthews to retire the side. Two runs on two big homers. They leave him in. And the Phillies take a 2 to nothing lead to the bottom of the first. Yeah, both these teams could hit. I wanted to look at uh, between innings here. Let's take a look. First grand totals display. The Astros lead the National League in runs scored as a team. The Braves are second. 
and the Phillies are fifth. They've also played a few less games, so both of these teams can hit. And greetings to Mike. And happy uh, imaginary birthday, historically, so to speak, right? <laughs> Let's get you the Atlanta lineup, and we'll set the Phillies defensively for you. Leading off for the Braves, Felipe Alou, Woody Woodward in the two spot, Henry Aaron in his familiar three spot in the order, Lee Thomas will back clean up today, Joe Torre fifth, Rico Cardi sixth, Eddie Matthews seventh, Dennis Menke the shortstop eighth, and Cloninger a good hitting pitcher ninth. The Phillies will have Clay Dalrymple catching Jackson, White at first, Rojas and Grote up the middle, Tony Taylor at third with the outfield left to right of Gonzalez, Briggs, and Callison. How about that, Ben? Cookie Rojas, 85 years young and still with us. And thank you for that. Here's Alou stepping in now. He's batting 323, two home runs, 13 RBIs. 14 extra base hits. He's got seven doubles and a league-leading five triples to go along with those two home runs. Jackson gets the sign from Dalrymple now. Here's the pitch to Alou. That's going to be a 5-9 right-handed. It's a fly ball into left field. Gonzalez patrolling, and he's got it for the first out. Oh, my, you are the young one, Ben. 72. You're younger than my little sister. She just turned 54 this month. Here's Woody now. Woody comes in at 283. No homers, eight RBIs. Here's the windup. And here's the pitch. That will be a 4-7 to the righty. Single to eight on a 20. That's going to be fielded by a white. Flips to Jackson covering, and there's two down. Here comes Henry Aaron. Always a pleasure to use an Aaron card. Aaron's off to a slow start, however, batting just 200, 17 for 85. He does, however, have seven home runs and 15 runs batted in, both figures among the league leaders. So Jackson hitting for power, although not yet for average, in the young season as Jackson gets his sign. The wind up on the pitch to Hammer and Hank is a 5-6 base hit up the middle. A two-out single for Henry Aaron. Aaron with great speed. He'll have to be held on. Let's check the battery now. Jackson a minus two, Dalrymple a minus two. So a nice hold between the two of them. That would knock him down to a 15. They'll still have to hold him on, making him a 13 as Lee Thomas steps in. I'm looking for Thomas's numbers here. Thomas is hitting only 195, two homers, eight RBIs. Jackson from the stretch. Pitch to Thomas, a 3-5 right-handed as a comebacker. Jackson has it over to White, and that'll do it. No runs, a hit a man left. We played an inning. It's Phillies 2, Braves nothing. Just getting underway today. It's a spring afternoon. Feels more like fall to me. Winter to some of you. And the Phillies will send up the bottom of the order in the second. Tony Taylor to start it off. Taylor hitting just 164. Two home runs, four RBIs. Cloninger, the sign, the windup, the pitch to Taylor. It's a 5 8 to the right hander, a grounder to shortstop. Menke has it over to Thomas and one away. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Kenya. We need to get some, new, some young blood into, this, into the hobby, right?
I certainly think that whoever runs the tournaments could do a better job of advertising them. They have nationwide tournaments all year long. Pretty much every major city. Some of the more major cities have more than one. I used to play four a year between LA and San Diego when I lived down there. That was back in the 80s. Here's Dalrymple now. Left-handed hitting catcher hitting 333. Just nine for 27. He does not have a run batted in. Cloninger the windup. Pitched the Dalrymple on a 1-9. Struck him out. So Cloninger settled down here in the second, looking much better. And here's the pitcher Jackson now. Jackson, a right-handed hitter, a two with N power. Cloninger with the pitch. It's going to be a 3-7, a tapper to second. Woody will take it over to Thomas, and that will retire the size. So Cloninger indeed settling down quite a bit in the second. A 1-2-3 inning, and it's still 2 to nothing as we move to the bottom. And welcome to Dwayne Martz as well. And absolutely, Mike, yeah. That's just it, and if you guys have... How many of you guys have played the Stratomatic Windows game? I love it personally, but the, the knock for the younger people is the graphics are stuck in the 90s. Maybe the 80s even. Brave's trying to get it going. Here's Tori. Oh, I didn't write in Cloninger's running rating. And that was deliberate because he has his own running rating of 14 rather than the standard 10 assigned to most pitchers. So here's Joe Torrey now. Torrey hitting 355, three home runs and a club leading 18 runs batted in. That would also place him among the league leaders. And now I've got a dice down on the floor. Oh my goodness, I gotta tell you. <laughs> I gotta laugh at myself. An old man crawling under a the desk and oh crap, I think I just pulled my neck a little bit there. That's okay, we'll, we'll, loose, we'll move it around, loosen it up. Here's Tori. Jackson the wind up. Pitch to Joe is a one, two and he walks in, ball four. So Joe Tori with the lead off walk. And here comes Rico Cardi. Cardi, a torrid start to the season, hitting 413. Three home runs and nine RBIs. Jackson gets the sign. From the stretch now, the pitch to Cardi. It's a 5 5 right handed. It's a high fly ball to deep left field. Back goes Gonzalez to the track, to the wall. It's gone! Rico Cardi with a two-run blast, and this ball game is tied. Oh, my goodness. What a blast by Cardi. Let's look at it again. 5-5. Five, five. Homer to nine. The roll is a two. Cardi has the power. And he can touch them all as the Braves tie it up here in the bottom of the second. And who said it's going to be one of those games? <laughs> I think it just could be. And here's Eddie Matthews now. Matthews hitting 254, two home runs, six RBIs. And here's the pitch. That's going to be a 311 foul ball right side. White has it. And there's one away. And here's Dennis Menke now. Menke betting 293, three home runs, 12 RBIs. He has 10 extra base hits. Still the leading vote getter for the National League starting shortstop per uh, the Windows game. And here's the pitch to Menke. 6-6 six, six to the righty. It's a double to one. That's going to be down for a long single. And the Braves are starting to hit. 
Menke not a threat to run, and here comes Cloninger. Cloninger, a right-handed batter, seven hitters card with N power, so Cloninger can handle the bat. Jackson looks over at first, now from the stretch, delivers to Cloninger on a 2-7. It's a fly to center. Briggs backing up on it, and he'll take it for the second out of the inning. And it'll be up to Felipe Alou. Alou flew to left his first time up today. Jackson staring in, now from the stretch. That's going to be a 5-3 to Felipe. Base hit into center field. Menke rounding. Briggs a plus two. Menke 12. I thought it was only you only add two from right field. Is that right? Oh, God, now I'm confused. Unbelievable. I've done this a thousand times. Okay. Runner advancement. Use basic rules. Blah, blah, blah. Sorry, I'm looking this up now. I want to get it right. Five. Throws from right. Well, this is to center, so he remains a 1 through 12 then, right, Kenyon? Yeah, it is, Bam, but I mean, <laughs> I've done this before and never had to look it up. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Holding runners. Runner advancement on hits. Apparently it's only to right field. So what we have here is a 5-3 single to center, Briggs a plus two, make Menke a 14. No, he's not going to go. He's not going to make the last out at third base. So first and second, two down. Sorry about the delay. Okay, but if he was going to the plate with two out, he would add two. Is that correct, Kenyon? First and second, two out. Here's Woody, 0 for 1. Jackson into the windup. Pitch to Woody, that's going to be a 4-8, and he walks him to load the bases. Oh, my goodness. So Menke ends up on third eventually. As everyone moves up on the walk to Woody Woodward. And here comes Henry Aaron. That's about the last guy you want to load the bases for. Oh, my goodness. Dalrymple's going out to the mound to have a chat with Jackson. Logically, that makes sense. Yes, running on the pitch. Okay. Here's Henry Aaron. Singled his first time up. Bases are loaded, nowhere to put him, two down. Jackson staring in now, full windup. The pitch to Hank Aaron is a 3-6 right-handed ground ball, third base. Taylor has it, throws to White, and that will do it. But two runs on three hits, they leave the bases loaded. A two-run blast by Eddie Matthews ties things up. And after two complete, it is a 2-2 tie, and deuces are wild here in Atlanta.
Cloninger a seven for endurance. Jackson also a seven. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't lay odds on any of these pitchers being around in the seventh. Phillies will set up the top of the order. It'll be Briggs who let off the game with a single. Oh, yeah, it could have been worse. Could have been a, you know, maybe a little grand slam action by Hammer and Hank, for instance. Johnny Briggs. Cloninger gets the sign. The pitch to Briggs is a 2-8 single into center field. Briggs is just two for two, and he leads off the inning with a base hit. An offensive-minded game so far, and here's Dick Grote. Grote bounced into the double play in the first, which saved a run, as it turned out, as the next two batters homered. Conninger working from a stretch. The pitch to Grote, 3-7 right-handed fly ball into center field. That will be Alou. He's got it. One down. And here's Bill White now, of course, home run in the first. Cloninger from the strip. Pitch to White is a 5-8 left-handed. A grounder to second. That's going to be two. Woodward shovels to Menke to Thomas. Double play. So Cloninger throwing worm killers up there today. Or things could look a lot worse on his end. And we go to the bottom of the third, still 2-2. <laughs> That's great, Franklin. <laughs> Dodged a bullet. Oh, make it a tomahawk. It's against the Braves. We go to the bottom of the third. Larry Jackson ready to work. Lee Thomas steps to the plate. The lefty's 0 for 1 today. Jackson gets the sign. Here's the pitch to Thomas. That'll be a 6-6 six, six left-handed. A double to 8 on a 20. Thomas will settle for a long single to lead off the bottom of the inning. So Lee Thomas aboard. Joe Torrey coming to bat. Rico Cardi on deck. Torrey walked his first time up. Jackson staring in now from the stretch. The pitch to Joe Torrey is a 1-11 right-handed. It's a tapper down to short. Grote has it. Throws to Rojas. Nice turn to White. Double play. Third double play of the ball game. First turn by the Phillies. Two out, nobody on, and here's Rico. Rico smacked a two-run homer his first time up. Jackson now getting the sign. Here's the pitch. It's a 4-8 right-handed, and he walks him. Two-out walk to Rico Cardi. And here comes Eddie Matthews. Matthews 0 for 1. Jackson staring in now. The pitch to Eddie. It's a 1-6 fly ball into right field right in the heart of his good column there, but it'll hold up for Callison. Who will make the catch to retire the side? No runs to hit, one left. We're through three in a 2-2 tie. Thanks, everybody, for joining me today. It's a lot of fun. That's all I can say. You guys are a great bunch. I may not have the biggest crowd on YouTube, but I've certainly got the best. To the fourth we go. Johnny Callison will lead things off. Gonzalez to follow. Cloninger gets his sign from Torrey. Here's the pick to the left-hander. It's a 2-4. He pops him up on the right side. Woodward under it. And there's one away. And here's Tony, 0 for 1, reached on an error. Cloninger staring in now, the wind up and the pitch is a 2 6 righty. Base hit into center field. Tony Gonzalez ropes one up the middle. 
And he's aboard with one down for Cookie Rojas. Cookie 0 for 1 so far. Cloninger staring in, now from the stretch. Mr. Rojas is a 2-3 right-hander. He pops it up. Woodward calling infield fly rule. And that's two pop-ups to second base, and there's two away. And that'll bring up Tony Taylor. Taylor 0 for 1. Cloninger ready to work now from the stretch. The pitch to Tony. 310 right handed. That's a double to three. On a 14, it'll be a single two star. Gonzalez will turn and head into third. So a single two stars for Taylor. Runners at the corners and two down. It'll be up to Clay Dalrymple. Dalrymple struck out against Cloninger in the second. Cloninger taking his time now. Nods. From the stretch, the pitch to play. 1-7 right-handed, and he walks him to load the bases. Oh, my goodness. How about that? Bases loaded with the pitcher coming up. And here's Jackson, right-handed hitter. Cloninger hoping to use the pitcher to get out of this inning. Bases loaded, two down. And here's the pitch. That's going to be a 3-8 grounder to third. Matthews steps on the bag, and that'll do it. No runs, two hits. They leave the bases full. Cloninger gets out of the jam, and it's still a 2-2 game. You know, I agree, Kenyon. I've watched a few few other guys myself. Sports Time Machine, Jeffrey Guterman. Just a, just a great lot of camaraderie. I think Jeffrey himself said it best. I'm going to quote him. Stratomatic is a culture. I could not agree more. Dennis Menke will be things off for Atlanta in the bottom of the fourth. Menke singled his first time up. And yeah, Ben, two day, how about that? Two days to opening day. It actually went pretty fast, the winter I mean. I start going through the withdrawals right around New Year's. And it's whizzed by. Is that a good or a bad thing? <laughs> I don't really know. A little of both, I guess. So here's Menke now. Jackson the windup. The pitch. It's going to be a 5-4 right-handed. Flying to center and shallow. Briggs coming in. He's there. And there's one down. And here's Cloninger now. Cloninger flew to center his first time up. Cloninger, a good hitting pitcher. The windup and the pitch. That's going to be a 6-5 to the righty. A grounder to shortstop X. That'll be Grote, 3 e 22 Grote behind the bag. Here's the play on a 14. He's got it and throws him out. So a nice play by Dick Grote to retire the pitcher. 6-3-X. And with two away, it'll be Felipe Alou. Alou one for two. Singled in the second. Jackson gets the sign. Here's the windup and the pitch. That's a 6-9 right-handed. Fly ball into right field. Callison ranging over and makes the catch to retire the side. <clears throat> so it's a 1-2-3 inning for Larry Jackson. We've completed four in Atlanta. It's a 2-2 ball game. I'll tell you, Ben, it's certainly true. <laughs> no doubt about that. I'm starting to think about a May trip to visit family in Northern California.
Top of the order for the Phillies in the fifth. It'll be Briggs, Groat, and White. <laughs> A DeLorean, yeah. Not planning to get one, Franklin. In fact, I keep telling people I, the car I have now is the last car I'll ever buy. After that, I'll Uber or Lyft. Here's Briggs, two for two. Cloninger staring in now. Briggs. That's going to be a 4-9 left-handed fly ball to left field. Cardi moving back a bit. He'll take it. And there's one down. Dick Grote will be the batter now. Grote's 0 for 2 today. Cloninger gets the sign. That's going to be a 5-10 right-handed. It's a grounder to shortstop X. That'll be Menke, a 4-E-38. Always an adventure. Here's the play on a 3. He's not going to get it. That's through for a single. One out single for Grote. Cloninger a plus one. Cardi a zero. He'd be a 14, but he'd have to roll that three. So he'll stay put with Bill White at the plate. One for two with a home run. Cloninger now from the stretch to pitch to White. That's a one eight right handed. He struck him out. White down on strikes, and here comes Callison. Callison's one for two, also a home run in this one. Cloninger trying to get out of the inning now. He's into the stretch. The pitch to Johnny Callison is a 4-5 left-handed fly ball into center field. Alou drifts back a bit and puts it away to retire the side. So no runs a hit, one left. And what looked like a slugfest has remained a 2-2 tie. Larry Jackson getting ready to go to work. This game loves to make a liar out of me, by the way. Remember earlier I said I wouldn't put money on each of these either of these pitchers reaching their inning of endurance, the seventh. And they're just humming along now since the second. Woody Woodward will lead it off for the Braves, 0 for 1 with a walk. Jackson gets his sign from Dalrymple now. The windup to Woody is a 6-7 right-handed, a grounder to second base X. That'll be Cookie Rojas. Rojas, a fine second baseman. 2-E-15 as he ranges behind the bag on a three. A diving stop by Rojas to his feet, throws. Oh, my goodness, he's out. And what a play by Cookie Rojas. A three on a two. Three-range player would not have gotten to that, and it's a web gem by Cookie Rojas. So that'll go 4-3-X exclamation. Woodward can't believe it himself. And here comes Henry Aaron. Aaron won for two today. Jackson the windup. The pitch to Hank Aaron, a 1-11. It's a high fly ball to deep left field. Gonzalez back. It's gone. Henry Aaron with his eighth home run of the season. And he takes sole possession of the National League lead in that category. Let's take another look at it. 111 righty to 19. It's a 10 for Hank Aaron, his eighth home run of the season. And it's 3 to 2 Braves. So it was only a matter of time before Aaron broke out. He came into the game batting 200. And he's 2 for 3 today. Here's Lee Thomas now, one for two. And I couldn't set it better myself, Ben. And you have it in quotes, so somebody else said that? Who are you quoting, do you remember? 
Jackson, the pitch to Thomas now. That's going to be a 5-9 left-handed. Swung on and missed strike three. So Jackson comes right back after the home run and fans Lee Thomas. And here comes Joe. Oh, yes, Berman. Back, 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 back. <laughs> all right. And all the nicknames. He's the one that named McGriff the crime dog. 0 for 1 with the walk. Joe Torrey, the pitch from Jackson. It's a 6 5 to the right. He grounded a short X. That's Grote. Grote 3 E 22 as he ranges into the hole. Here's the play on an 18. He's got it. Plants long throw in time. And Torrey is retired. 6 3 X. One run, one hit, the homer by Henry Aaron. And after five innings of play, it's Braves three, Phillies two. Keeping the races nice and tight. The Phillies at one point tied for first place. They have slumped a bit since Dick Allen went out of the lineup. Allen says he could pinch hit today if necessary. Still bothered by that sore shoulder. Oh, Dan Patrick. Yeah, we all know him, too. I miss Berman on baseball. He quit doing it many years ago, and I think he still did football for a while. I don't know if he's even still around. Perhaps someone else could answer that question. As we slide into the sixth inning, Tony Gonzalez will lead it off for the Phillies. One for two today. Cloninger getting the sign. Here's the pitch to Tony on a 1-7, a fly to center field. Alou barely has to move, and he'll take it for the first out. And that'll bring up Cookie Rojas, 0 for 2 today. Cloninger's set now. The one that pitch to Cookie is a 1-8 right-handed to tap her down to third. Matthews has it, throws over to Thomas. And quickly, there are two away in the sixth. Here's Tony Taylor now, one for two. Taylor doing a nice job of filling in at second and third. Cloninger the sign, now the windup. Pitch to Tony is a 6-12 right-handed, a grounder to the pitcher X. Cloninger a 3-E46. This could be an adventure. Here's the play. On an 8, E rating, a 6 on a 36. Yep, he boots it. Error Cloninger. Second error for Atlanta. So a two-out error by the pitcher puts Taylor aboard, and here is Dalrymple now. 0 for 1 with a walk. Cloninger staring in, now from the stretch. Pitch to Dalrymple. It's a 5-3 left-hander to fly ball to left field X. That's Rico Cardi. Cardi, a 4-E-10. Drift towards the gap on a 4. He's not going to get that. That's going to be a double. Here comes Taylor rounding. He's going to score on a long double by Clay Dalrymple, and the game is tied. An unearned run for the Phillies, but it counts in the box score, and it's 3-3. Three to three. Let's take another look at that. A four on a four fielder double, three base advance. How about that? So Dalrymple comes through, and Jackson will bat. In all honesty, he was going to bat either way. He's 0 for 2 today. Pitch from Cloninger on a 3-8 is a grounder to third. Matthews to Thomas, and that will do it. But the Phillies tie it. A run on a hit. That'll be an unearned run charge to Jackson. Wait, to Jackson? What am I saying? That's an unearned run charge to Cloninger. And the side is retired. 3-3 three, three, tie. Oh, it's Kenyon. 
two out error. And Kenyon, another close game as usual. I, I can't believe it myself. I should go back through all these scores and count the number of close games. It's got to be 80% or better, doesn't it? At least it feels that way. Cardi will lead it off for the Braves in the bottom of the sixth in a 3-3 ball game. Cardi has homered and walked, knocked in two of the Braves' three runs so far. Jackson, the wind-up and the pitch, a 3-11 is the tapper down to first. White, he'll take it himself. And that's the first out. And up steps Eddie Matthews. Still a formidable hitter, even in the decline phase of his career at this point. He's 0 for 2 today. Jackson getting the sign. The pitch to Eddie is a 1-7, and he walks him. Ball 4. So a one-out walk to Matthews. That'll bring Dennis Menke up. Menke, one for two today. Jackson staring in to get the sign. Now from the stretch. Delivers 3-11 right-handed. It's a high fly ball to deep left field. Gonzalez going back to the wall. It's gone. Dennis Menke can touch them all. And the Braves reclaim the lead 5-3. Oh, my goodness. And just listen to that crowd in Atlanta. Menke circling the bases. For Dennis Menke, that's his fourth home run of the season. I believe he leads all major league shortstops. Let's look at it again. 311 righty, 1 to 18 on a 4. And Dennis Menke with a two run blast, and the Braves lead it 5 to 3. Menke, the top-hitting shortstop in the National League right now, and he's hot today, two for three with a homer. Here's Cloninger now. Jackson staring in. The pitch to Cloninger. That's going to be a 2-7 fly ball to center. Briggs will take it. And that's two away. And here's Felipe now. Felipe Alou, one for three. Larry Jackson. The wind up. The pitch to Alou is a 3 2. He hits him. Oh, ho, ho, my. That doesn't smell good. Doesn't feel good either, but after a home run, that does not smell good. And it's a one. Holy cow. Alou's charging the mound. Total ruckus is both benches empty. The roll for Jackson, 1 to 10, 16. He stays in the game, but Felipe Alou is ejected for charging the mound. The second time this has happened. Oh my goodness. And here comes Bobby Bragan, and he is livid. He's right up in the umpire's face, and now Bragan is thrown out of the game. Oh my God, can you believe it? A warning for Jackson. One through ten, he'd have been gone. But Alou charged the mound. Now, they don't go for that. And he's out of the ball game. Gary Geiger will come in and run for him. He'd take over in center field. Better defensively, 2E7 two e, two e as opposed to a 3E7, although not as good of an arm. So the ruckus calms down a bit. Jackson drilled Alou. Alou going down to first, jawing back and forth, and then he just rushed the mound. 
Tackle Jackson, both benches emptied. Jackson will receive a warning, and Alou is out of the game. The second time that's happened this season. And here's Woodward with two down. Jackson still pacing behind the mound, trying to compose himself. And there's activity in the Philadelphia pen. Daryl Knowles getting loose. Jackson ready now. Deep breath. The pitch to Woodward. That's a 6-3 right-handed, and he walks him. Ball four. So Jackson apparently rattled, visibly rattled, by the on-field melee. And here comes Henry Aaron. Jackson staring in now. The pitch to Hank Aaron. That's going to be a 1-6. Double to 1. That's going to be a 2-star single. Alou will come around to score. Woodward into 3rd. And it's an RBI single for Hank Aaron. And it's 6-3 to three Atlanta. And here comes the bench coach now, took, took over managing from Bragan. He was thrown out of the game. No, here comes Mock. I'm sorry, what am I saying? The Braves manager was thrown out. Here comes Mock, and he's going to pull Jackson. Jackson may have been shaken up a bit when Alou tackled him. He ends up going five and two thirds. Four, five, six, seven, eight hits. Six runs so far. He walked three and hit a batter. And he struck out only one today. Daryl Knowles, the lefty, has been called upon to pitch to the lefty Lee Thomas. So here's Knowles now, fine season. You can see his record there, over 100 innings of relief. He had 13 saves in real life. Let's see what he did in the replay. 1-0 with a save. He's been in three ball games, a 1.08 ERA across eight and a third innings of work. Well, let's take a look. That's a good question. Ed Sudall was behind the plate for this game. Okay, Knowles ready to work to Thomas. Lee won for three today. Runners at the corners and two down. From the stretch, it's a 2-11. It's a foul ball, right side. White has it, and that'll retire the side. Knowles comes in and puts out the fire, but not before Atlanta scores three runs, two hits, two-run blast by Dennis Menke. There was a hit batter. There was an ejection. This inning had it all. And we go to the seventh. Braves, six. Phillies, three. So one of the two pitchers made it to the seventh. Jackson almost did. I don't know about you guys, but I just had the feeling that that inning was going to blow up with the left-handed Thomas up. It was time for Knowles, who pitched in this game in real life.
It'll be the top of the order for the Phillies. John Briggs, two for three today. Cloninger into the windup. Briggs, that's a 3 8 right handed, and he walks him. The last thing you want to see if you're the Braves, they get a three run lead, and Cloninger promptly walks the leadoff man. And that'll bring up Dick Groat. Groat's one for three. Action now in the Atlanta bullpen. Let's see who they used in the game. Olivo, the righty, and Billy O'Dell, the lefty, getting loose. And here is Groat now. Cloninger from the stretch. The pitch to Groat is a 2-5. Single to 14, but on an 18, that liner is speared by a leaping Menke. One down. Nice play, Menke. And here's Bill White. One for three with a homer. Cloninger staring in from the stretch. The pitch to White. 5-7, a grounder to second X. That's going to be Woodward, a 3-E-24. This could be two. Here's the play. On a six, it is two. It's Woodward to Menke to Thomas. Double play, a fine double play. 4-6-3-X. Nice play, Woodward. Nice turn by Menke. The often maligned defensively Menke. Nothing doing for the Phillies in the seventh. We go to the bottom of the seventh, still 6-3. to three. And Knowles will come back out. Righty, righty, lefty, do up. Roger Craig begins to loosen in the Philly pen. Really, Franklin, I'd kind of like to see it. Which is funny coming from an old timer, I'm sure. We, we tend to not like change. My belief is it'll favor the pitcher, and I love pitching, so that, that explains my side of the story. Here's Torrey to lead off the seventh. Knowles into the windup. Pitch to Joe Torrey. That's a 1-6 lefty fly to center field. Briggs right there to make the catch one down. And here comes Rico Cardi. Cardi, one for two with a walk, two-run homer back in the second. Knowles checks the sign, the windup. Rico Cardi is a 6-6 six, six right-handed, a base hit the opposite field. So Cardi with an opposite field single, his second hit of the ball game. He's on first with one down, and here comes Eddie Matthews. Noel staring in, the sign from Dalrymple. I'll look over at first. Cardi with very poor speed at first. From the stretch, the pitch to Eddie is a 6 6 left handed, a single on a 1 on a 15. That's a liner speared by Cookie Rojas for the second out of the inning. And here comes Menke. Menke, the big blow. Two run homer in the sixth. Two for three today. The windup on the pitch is a 3-8 left-handed tapper to short. Grote will go the short way to Rojas, and that'll do it. No runs, a hit, one left. We're through seven in Atlanta. It's Braves six, Phillies three. Checking the Braves defensively. I was looking at shortstop in particular, but they don't really have another shortstop. 
And Clonger is still out there. He's coming out for the eighth. I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me today as we go into the eighth inning. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. Phillies are running out of outs. They're going to have Callison, Gonzalez, and Rojas do against Tony Cloninger here in the top of the eighth. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, yeah, especially the let the players play part. And the replay, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it fixes things most of the time. But it also, it's a huge delay, isn't it? I mean, it takes a lot of time for that, sometimes a long time. If it's really close, they get, it's like they've got a panel back there looking at 16 angles or something. Maybe they should limit the amount of time they can spend on the replay. Now, they're all about speeding up the game, except when it comes to that. Callison, one for three with a home run. Cloninger staring in. That's going to be a 5-9 fly ball into center field. Geiger there to make the catch. Well, I almost forgot that Geiger had come on in place of a Lou after a Lou was ejected. Here's Gonzalez now, one for three. Cloninger the sign from Torrey. Here's the line back down the pitch. That's going to be a 2-7 right-hander to single to one. That will be a liner speared by Woody Woodward. And there's two down. And that will bring up Cookie. Cookie's 0 for three today. Cloninger the sign. The wind up. The pitch to Cookie is a 5 8 right hand and a two hopper to short. Menke on the run. Throws in time. And it's a 1 2 3 inning for Cloninger. Cloninger's pitching a very nice ball game today. He got ambushed early in the first with back to back homers by White and Callison. But he's been splendid since then. With the pitcher, Geiger and Woodward do, Knowles will come back out. Cloninger, of course, will bat. He leads by three. And he's a good hitting pitcher. Knowles staring in. He gets the sign from Dalrymple. The pitch to Cloninger is a 2-7. Same number as last time. Fly ball to center. Briggs will take it. Three times today, Cloninger has flown out to center. And here's Gary Geiger with his first at bat of the game. He came in there to pinch run. Left on left, is that what they want? Well, let's see. So you don't really have anyone to replace him in center. He'll stay. Left on left. 4-10. Grounder to short X. That'll be Grote. Grote, a 3-E-22 as he ranges into the hole. On a 16, he's got it. Long throw across in time, and Geiger is retired. 6-3-X, two away. And here comes Woody Woodward. And boy, wouldn't he like to get another at bat for Hank Aaron here. He's walked twice today, 0 for 2. Noel staring in now. Here's the pitch to Woodward. That will be a 2-11. Foul ball behind the plate. Dalrymple back. He's got it. And it's a 1-2-3 inning for Knowles. And we go to the ninth. Braves lead by 3. Cloninger going for the complete. S7 for endurance, but he's, he certainly has not been tested in the 7th or the 8th. 
And it will be Taylor Dalrymple and the pitcher's spot for Philadelphia. Tony Taylor, right-handed hitter, one for three today. Cloninger gets the sign from Torrey. Here's the windup and the pitch to Tony Taylor. That's a 1-3 foul ball behind the plate. Torrey drops the mask. He's got it, one down. That'll bring up Clay Dalrymple, the left-handed hitting catcher, one for two with a walk. Cloninger staring in now. Deep breath. The windup. Pitch to Dalrymple is a 2-7. Ball four. He walks him. A one-out walk to Dalrymple, and now we will have a pinch hitter for Knowles. And coming off the bench for Philadelphia, none other than Dick Allen. Hey, we might as well make it exciting, right? Allen hitting 396 on the season. Five home runs, 15 RBIs. Both figures lead the ball club. Billy O'Dell ready to go in the Atlanta pen if needed. Man on first, one down. Cloninger from the stretch. The pitch to Allen is a 3-6. Single to five on a four. That's in there. Just out of the reach of Eddie Matthews. Woodward, excuse me, Dalrymple will hold at second. And the tying run will come to the plate. One more hitter walk will fatigue Cloninger. Cloninger trying to finish it. Odell is ready. Here's Johnny Briggs. Two for three with a walk. Cloninger from the stretch. It's a 5-11 left hand. That's a grounder to first base X. That's Thomas, a 4-18. Nothing automatic here. Here's the play on a one. It's a single two stars. Oh, my goodness. He can't get it. Dalrymple comes around to score. Dick Allen into third. And that fatigues Cloninger. So it looked like a playable ball. Thomas, a slow jump, couldn't get it. And that'll be it for Cloninger. So we almost did it. Odell coming on. Eight and one third for Cloninger today and his ninth inning drama. Cloninger. Surrendered 10 hits. Four runs so far. He walked three. One of the runs was unearned. He struck out. Looks like only two. And here's Billy O'Dell, the left-hander. 10 saves in real life. What has he done in the replay? Well, let's find out. Odell has been in six games. He's 1-0 with the save and has not allowed a run across six and a third innings. You might remember Odell took over the closer role from Clay Carroll, who was, uh, shall we say, blowing it. Dick Groh will be the batter. Johnny Callison's on deck. Allen at third, Briggs at first, tying runs aboard, six to four ball game in the ninth. Grote, one for four. Odell staring in now from the stretch, infield at double play depth. 
Here it is. It's a 1-3. Grounder to second. Woodward's only play is to first, and another run will score. Runners will move up. 4-3. Allen crosses the plate. Briggs into second, and that'll be a ribby for Groat. But there's two down now. Runner on first, and it's up to Bill White. Six to five ball game. Tying run at first. That's Grow to one through ten. Let's see if the Phillies can do any better than that. Phil Lins will come in and run for Grote. He's a 14 runner. He carries the tying run. So Lynn's on first. No, 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 no. What am I saying? My apologies. Briggs is on second. 4-3, everyone moved up. My apologies. Briggs is a 14. He's just fine where he is. Briggs on second represents the tying run. He's a 14. My apologies. And it's up to Bill White. 20 runs batted in on the season. One for four today with a home run. Odell. Big deep breath now. The sign from Torrey. The pitch to Bill White is a 4-3. High fly ball into deep right field. Aaron going back. Oh, my God, it's gone. Bill White, can you believe it? Bill White has just put the Phillies on top with a two-run blast here in the ninth inning. Holy crap, you can't script him like this. Let's look at it again. 4-3 to 18. He has the power. The roll is a 9. And it's a two-homer day for Bill White. And can anybody say player of the game? That's White's sixth home run of the season. RBIs 21 and 22, which, by the way, now puts him into the National League lead in RBIs. And the Atlanta bullpen implodes once again. They replaced Clay Carroll with Billy O'Dell. He did a fine job until today. And here's Callison now, who has a home run of his own this game, one for four. Pitch from Odell, 3-6. It's a base hit up the middle. Callison's on with a single. Callison a star 15, but Odell with a minus 5 hold. They won't need to hold him. Torrey is 0. That would make him a 10, not held. And here's Tony Gonzalez now. Gonzalez, 1 for 4. Odell trying to get his team back up to the plate. And here's the pitch to Gonzalez. It's going to be a 5-9 lefty fly to left field. It's playable for Cardi. He'll take it to retire the side, but the Phillies stun the crowd with four runs in the ninth inning. On three hits. And they lead it 7-6 going to the bottom of the ninth. And they'll have a new pitcher. They could go to Wise. Craig pitching this game in real life. They were on the losing end. Well, I'm looking at some of the numbers here. It's 
the same situation. They're going to go to Rick Wise. Wise has one save on the replay already. Knowles worked two and a third. Did a hell of a job. One hit, no runs. All six runs charged to Jackson. Knowles did not walk anyone. He also did not strike out anyone. We can close the book on Cloninger. Six runs charged to Tony. It'll be the heart of the order for Atlanta. Oh, yeah, Mike, and this is not the first time this has happened with the Braves' bullpen this season. Hank Aaron to start it off, Lee Thomas to follow. Joe Torrey in the hole. All Aaron's done today has gone three for four with a homer. Two runs batted in. Wise staring in to get the sign now. The wind-up on the pitch, a 6-7 as a grounder to second base X. That will be... Rojas, a 2E15. Here's the roll on the play on a three. It's a diving stop by Rojas. He's up, throws, in time. He does it again. It's a freaking web jam by Cookie Rojas. His second of the game. He made an incredible play leading off the fifth. And there's one down. And here's Lee Thomas. Thank you, Mike. That's right. It's marked right there. When, and once again, when I manually enter the game, the Windows engine would have corrected that. But I thank you. I'm simply pointing out that the Windows version will pick up some of my mistakes. But it's nicer to get it right on the box score or the score sheet. Thomas, one for four. One down in the ninth. Phillies rallied for four in the top of the inning to take the lead. Wise into the windup. To Lee Thomas is a 1-9 high fly ball to deep right field. Back goes Callison to the track, leaps up and makes the catch, robbing Lee Thomas of a game-tying home run. Holy crap, let's look at that again. 1-9 to 10, just misses it on an 11. And oh my goodness, what a play by Callison to climb the wall and make the catch for the out. So Thomas is robbed in what would have been a game-tying home run in the bottom of the ninth, and now it's up to Joe Torrey. Torrey 0 for 3 today with a walk. Why is staring in now? The wind-up. The pitch to Torrey. 6-7. Grounder to second base X. It's Rojas again. 2-E-15. On a two. He's not going to get that one. That's through. And into right field for a base hit. So Torrey with a two-out single. Oh, my goodness. What a freaking ball game. What a freaking ball game. Now they got to run for Torrey. He's the tying run. There may be two outs, but still you got to do it. I failed to do it one time. We're going to send in Mac Jones to run. He's a 15. Jones just off the DL. Not quite ready to be in the lineup yet. 
but he was available today, and he'll come in and pinch run. He's a star 15 stealer as well. Let's check the battery. Why is a minus two? Dalrymple a minus two. That makes him an 11 without being held, so there will be no need to hold him on. And it's up to Rico Cardi. Rico, two for three with a home run. He walked in the third, a two-run blast in the second. Represents the winning run. Jones at first represents the tying run. Wise gets the sign now from Dalrymple from the stretch. The pitch to Rico Cardi is a 1-8, and he walks him. Ball four. That pushes the tying run into scoring position. The speedy Jones moves down to second. Cardi with a two-out walk. And here comes Eddie Matthews. Oh, my goodness. Matthews 0 for 3 with a walk today. Holy crap. I don't know about you guys, but my nerves can't take much more of this. Matthews standing in now. Runners take their lead from first and second. Wise with the sign from the stretch. The pitch to Eddie Matthews is a 5-7. Grounder to second. It's Rojas over to White, and that's the ball game. Fittingly, Rojas, dazzling in the field today, makes the last play. And the Phillies stun the Atlanta fans with a four-run ninth to pull the game out. Seven to six. Can you believe it? What a freaking ball game. Oh, these teams battled right to the end. Billy O'Dell blew the save and he takes the loss. He's one and one now on the season. Came in with one out, two thirds for Odell. Two hits. The winning run. No walks, no K's. Wise picks up the save, his second of the season. He gave up a hit and a walk in his inning of work. No K's. Knowles picks up the win in relief. Two and a third flawless innings of relief. Let's not forget about Daryl Knowles. He played a big role in this game. He's 2-0 and oh now. But your Spokane Chief Gary player of the game, let's face it, guys, it can only be Bill White. With a two-home run, three-RBI day. Oh, my goodness. What a crowd stunner. What a crowd stunner. The totals for the Phillies. Seven runs, 12 hits, no errors. The Braves. Six runs, 10 hits. They made two errors. And one, earned, one unearned run, which was the difference in the ball game in a one-run game. That's right, Ben. Good point. Two-run homer to start. Two-run, well, actually, it was a one-run homer in the first because it would have been two if not for the double play. And a two-run blast in the ninth. Holy crap. I just want to thank you guys again for... I'm glad you guys were around to see this one. This was a wild one. Started off like it was going to be wild. Then it kind of calmed down. The Braves went out in front. And once again, the Phillies stun everybody with an amazing four-run ninth capped off by Bill White's two-run blast. Tomorrow I might be a little later. I'm not going to schedule it. I have to take my mother in for a uh, routine procedure, but it could take a while. In any case, that will be Kansas City at California, Raleigh Sheldon for the Athletics, Fred Newman for the Angels. 
I'm guessing in the 2 to 3 p.m. range for tomorrow's game. We'll play that one by ear. In the meantime, thanks again for joining me. This was a blast. It really was. Thanks, guys. Spokane Steve wishing you all a pleasant good evening.